Here is the plate saying the Kharkiv city steam locomotive plant. Steam locomotives, we made here all the relics we found we've put under the glass. One can find rare items and pieces of equipment dating back to the 19th century under the glass and along the walls of the main hall. They were preserved after reconstruction. The bar stand was decorated with a cast iron play. Five years ago, Serhii Pilugin was looking all over the city for an abandoned territory for a new creative space. He received hundreds of rejections, but later he found exactly what he wanted, right in front of his eyes. I was born here and grew up here. At one time I was looking for a plant and it happened so that I didn't find anything and then I recalled that there is a huge mulch of plant. I started finding out what was happening to it. I learned that part of the territory on which we are now is the great-great-grandfather of the plant. So to say, it is 125 years old. We will celebrate the anniversary in September. Repairs were made throughout the year. Then they found investors. The workshop number 170 was cleared of debris, the structures were checked and minimal repairs were made. Many structural elements were repaired, some were left as decor and some are still working. We restored the cranes, put motors on them and now we can move them using the control panel. The territory of the Mechanica Art Factory is almost 50,000 square meters. There are three halls, which can accommodate up to 20,000 people. If there are no events, then the entrance is free, and administrators conduct excursions for children. This is our popular space, the Dwish Mesh Workshop. Large concerts are held here in the cold season. All this beauty, these sleds, were all found in the factory. That is, we have most of the elements that were used, that were here before. We have preserved this antiquity, upgraded it a little and painted. The first concert was held here on October the 1st, 2016. It was a trial. The artists were invited from Kyiv. Yulia Lipakova recalls how everything was organized. The first experience was complicated. Of course, there were tears and nerves, and that's it. Volunteers helped. Everybody were very busy. Something was not ready, something was not completed in time, but everything was perfect for the visitors. The former enterprise has now become not only a favorite place for parties and concerts, but also for tenants. Premises for offices and co-working spaces are occupied by 50 residents. Employees of the art space say that they are going to expand and equip abandoned premises in the neighborhood. They also plan to create a hostel, football and basketball courts. Reported by Vadim Kramer and Natalia Bilokudra, UATV News.